Hey guys, Bobby here from Redmond Digital Media and today I want to talk about something I just recently dealt with and that is dust and dirt on your sensor or on your lens and more importantly, how to remove it in Final Cut X. Quick note, this video is sponsored by youtubepromos.com and while I would never recommend buying views, I was given the chance to test out their trending video promotion, which helped me optimize my tags, title, and description in order to rank well and ultimately show up in more recommended playlists. You can check out the link in the description and save 10%. Since moving over to mirrorless cameras, I've noticed dust on my sensor much more often, which can be especially distracting in moving shots. Ideally, your sensor and lens would stay nice and clean, but sometimes you end up with a speck of dirt in the middle of a shoot that you just can't get off. Luckily, it's a pretty quick fix, and while this technique won't work for every single situation, it has certainly saved me in the past. So we're going to be using this shot from a recent wedding as an example. As you can see, there's a spot on the sensor in the upper left of the frame, which is especially distracting with the movement of the shot. So let's jump into our editor and I'll show you how to fix it. So here we are in our editor. And again, you can see the spot in the upper left hand area there. Now I have this um, just in its own project, but it's within a wedding. Um, so I just pulled this in along with the adjustment layer which is only my color grade, but I would rather show off good looking footage. Uh, so I'm gonna keep that on there, uh, but this does not play any role in what we're doing. This is simply the color grade um, for the shot with my LUT and stuff like that. So uh, first things first, I'm gonna take this clip, I'm gonna hit Command C and then Command V, move the adjustment layer out of the way there on top. And I'm just gonna line them up so that they are exactly right on top of each other. You know, it just looks like one clip here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit V and turn off that bottom clip. Go back up to the top one here, open the effects tab and search for a mask. And we're gonna use the draw mask tool. This lets you draw the exact shape that you want. There are some pre-made shapes, um, but for this, we're gonna use the draw mask. So I'm gonna put it on there and then I'm gonna zoom in to maybe 150 depends on the spot and you know what you're working with. So personal preference there, but I'm gonna zoom into 150 here and then you're gonna draw out a shape like what the spot is. So mine's kind of an oval um, or something like that. Um, and you wanna look for an area that is going to look similar to what that spot should look like. So I'm gonna pick something in this area of the sky, I think, because it's about the right shade. But if this was on a you know, building or there was a pattern or something like that, you would need to be more specific with where you choose to do this. So I'm gonna click to start drawing my mask. And as you click, you can hold your click and then drag, and that lets you round out those edges. So I'm gonna round these out as I go, making it more of an oval and less sharp edges. And since we had that bottom clip turned off, once we finish up this mask, it's gonna be black around it. It's gonna show you just the area that you masked out. So we can go ahead and turn this bottom clip back on. And then we'll go into the top clip again, go into our transform area here, and we're gonna drag that clip over on top of uh, the spot. So even that looks better already. It's a little bit lighter, it fills it, but the edges are pretty sharp, so you can still tell that it's kind of covered. Now right now we're zoomed in, so this is a lot more prominent in the frame. Remember that this is pretty small in the frame, so even this would probably help you out. But we can do more to it, of course, so we can use the feather and the fall off tool to soften those edges and make it more of a gradual transition. This is something you're gonna have to just play around with depending on your clip. If you go too low, you'll start to see the spot again. I might go out um, to help with that gradient. I might go out quite a bit here. And you can see right there, it's pretty sharp, but if I go out, it starts to kind of just fade and blend in. I'm gonna turn my fall off up too. One other trick that I do sometimes, if there's like a lot of clouds or something like that, uh, is you can scale up this top, the mask, um, that clip. So, doesn't really need to be done here, but you could scale this up to blend it in even more. You will need to move it back in place. 
but it just makes it even bigger of an area and it will help uh, gradually blend in. So let's hit done here. I'm gonna play through it even, I'm gonna take those red dots off, but I'm gonna play through it even right here so you can see that you really can't tell anymore that there was a spot there. And again, of course, we are way zoomed in. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out to its appropriate framing. And in this framing, you really would never tell that there was something you fixed up there um, because it is so small in frame. But even that little dust spot can be pretty distracting if it's prominent. But let's go ahead and just turn this off so you can see it went from that with a little dust spot up there, turn it back on, to that with really no dust spot apparent in the frame. So that's it guys, again, this method will not work in every single situation and it will depend on where the dust or dirt is and what's around it in the frame, but I've definitely had success masking out problem areas in the past with this technique. I hope you guys found this helpful. Please leave any comments or questions below. And as always, if this helped you, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.